Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey and in today's video I am doing the what I spent in the month of May edition video. If you're new here and you haven't been following me for a while, I do this type of video every single month where I go through all of the expenses that I spent owning six dogs and running a dog breeding business to kind of give you guys some transparency on what it takes and what it costs to run something like this. So if you're new here and you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button down below. And without further ado, let's just get in to today's video all right guys so i know you all are so in love with all the puppy content lately i am too i it's just so much fun having puppies again and they literally are the sweetest things and i know this video doesn't always get a ton of views on my channel but i want to keep it up i want to be consistent and i really want to be able to go back and watch these videos at the end of the year and see what i spent as a whole for the entire year um when i was calculating how much i spent in may it actually ended up being one of my cheapest months yet so i'm super thankful for that um, you'll also see that vet bills was definitely the main category for today's video and definitely where I'm spending the most money here lately, even for June as well. So it's just kind of funny to see where I spend my money and what category gets the most, I guess, money taken out every single month. It kind of varies. So sometimes it's breeding dogs, sometimes it's vet bills, dog food, like dog food will probably be a big one in July once the puppies start eating more food. So yeah, I just really enjoyed these videos and I really think they're helpful for those that are maybe interested in getting into breeding or those have just began getting into breeding and are aware what it costs to kind of run a breeding business. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. As you guys know, you've probably watched these videos before. I go through supplies, vet bills, dog grooming, business slash marketing, dog food, travel, and breeding dogs, and then total at the end. So I'm going to keep this short and sweet, but first off is the category supplies. Um, I had a little bit more I feel like that I spent in supplies this month than any other month just because we were getting ready for puppies and I was buying things that I need to stock up on. So I spent $31.16 on Amazon for different whelping prep items that I needed. I spent $53.39 again on Amazon for relatively the same thing. I ended up spending $166.90 at Walmart. I ended up getting like the vacuum for the dog room, doormats. I believe I vlogged that in the preparing for puppies video, like the things I bought at Walmart. But in that trip alone, I spent $166.90. And then I spent $16.00 two cent for more whelping supplies at tractor supply and then another thirty five dollars and thirty cent at tractor supply as well so that's everything that i spent for supplies for the month of may moving on to the biggest category last month like i was mentioning before i spent a lot of money in vet pills last month i don't know exactly what all of these charges for but for the ones that i do know what they are for i will explain so at first i spent 120 dollars and 41 cent at the vet then I spent $527.90 at the vet, and that was for Oakley's pin hip. At the vet, I spent $268.30, and that was for Ivy's checkup and workup. I spent $84 on progesterone, $405.25 on a stud semen analysis and collection. I spent $95 on an artificial insemination. I spent $126.54 at the vet for Jagger's injury. I spent $95 for another artificial insemination. $199.49 for another stud semen collection, and then $84 for another progesterone. So you can kind of see what my vet charges for the services that we use very frequently. So like, it's always $95 for an artificial insemination. It's always $84 for a progesterone test. So you can kind of gauge that based on what I spent last month. The next category is dog grooming. If you're new here, you wouldn't know that I'm trying to get more into dog grooming and doing my own, own dog grooming so I can cut back on costs in that area. But I did have an $80 charge for dog grooming and a $140 charge for dog grooming last month. Moving into business slash marketing, I only had one business slash marketing transaction last month, which is my QuickBooks fee every single month. That is $25. Um, a lot of people ask how I like, I guess, do taxes and keep track of all that different stuff. I do have an accountant and I do use QuickBooks as well. The next one is dog food. So I spent $74.70. That is our adult dog food, $59.98. Um, I think that was for their Dasilquin supplements, $58.15. I'm sure that was for something. $63.63. I think that's the puppy food, $74.70. Once again, the adult dog food. 
and 55 58 and I think that was for supplements again or something like that for travel I didn't have much in this category last month as well we did end up going out of town for just the weekend we went on a little bit of a beach trip together and I did pay the dog sitter $200 to stay with the dogs from Thursday to Sunday and the dog sitter I meet my brother-in-law and the last category is breeding dogs. And I actually ended up spending $0 on breeding dogs last month. I did not buy any new dogs. Thank God. Because that is definitely one of the most expensive things for April and for March. I feel like March and April were super duper expensive because I bought new breeding dogs. So when you don't have to do that, it makes it a lot easier and a lot cheaper. So that is all the transactions for May. I knew this was going to be a quick little video, but I wanted to make sure I still did it and got it up for you guys, mainly for myself too, to go back and look at. So it was finally nice to have another cheaper month. So our total for May was $3,140.40. So I think maybe not my cheapest month, but pretty close to it if it's not my cheapest month. So that was super nice to have a cheap month. Um, the funds are really running thin around here lately. Um, once again, we do not do this for the money. I do it because I love it. This right here, YouTube. Yep. That is my full-time job. That is what pays my bills. That is what allows me to not work full-time. So for anyone wondering, it's not the dogs. That is not how I make my money. I'm pretty sure my dog account has like $500 in it right now. Um, so we're scraping by, you know, I'm probably going to have to end up reinvesting my personal money back into the business again here soon, which I've already done a ton of just because, you know, we only have had three litters so far. We've only had Indy as a mom for our program. So hopefully when we have some upcoming litters with other moms, the funds will start to be a little bit more consistent and I won't have to be so stressed out about that. Um, but yeah, it's definitely not a money maker. It's not this quick way to get rich. Like a lot of people see it. Dog breeding is hard it's expensive it's stressful and it's emotionally draining a lot of times and i just want to be transparent with you guys and just show you guys the good and the bad and the expensive that is this world of dog breeding so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video stay tuned for saturday we've got a fun video coming up i'm going to be doing a day in the life with the puppies as well as swabbing them swabbing their dna to see who the father is we won't unfortunately be able to see who the father is in that video we will have to wait a couple weeks but i am going to show you guys how i swap them and get their dna and send them off and all that stuff so stay tuned don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as well as hit the subscribe button down below and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye